Trading is mentally challenging. No one would say otherwise. Emotions are heightened and fast decisions need to be made consistently and correctly over the long term, which can be incredibly draining for a trader. Often human psychology is the downfall of most traders, but they don't realize it. Instead, blaming their trading strategies or the markets. In this video, we're going to look at the benefits of thinking like a robot when you're trading stocks, forex, whatever asset class, how to implement this, and what this will mean for your trading journey. So, with no further ado, let's get right into it and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Trading in many aspects is incredibly challenging and there are many small pieces to a much larger puzzle. However, many traders take the same two core mistakes, which hold them back from ever reaching profitability or becoming funded prop firm traders. Firstly, successful traders are process driven, not outcome driven. This is a huge mental shift that needs to occur in a trader's mind. The successful traders focus on their process rather than the outcome and gratification that follows as a result of this. Secondly, many new traders have a very external focus of control. They believe the markets went against them, they were stopped, hunted, etc. The reality is although almost certainly untrue, it's irrelevant. Our successful prop firm funded traders all have one thing in common, an internal focus of control. They aren't focused on what the market has done to them, nor even trying to figure it out. They're focused entirely on their actions, what they can do to be successful. There's no blame, no looking externally for answers. This leads successful traders to creating an almost robotic process to follow, whilst entirely ignoring the external noise from the markets and everything else that may be a scapegoat in your trading. Okay, so continuing here, the challenge of trading as a human. I mean, humans are designed to do many things. Trading not being one of them. I mean, you could still be successful. There's many successful traders out there, but you need to do it the right way, the right steps and all that. You know, humans are typically very, very emotional. And the stress of trading compounds these emotions, primarily fear and greed. The fear of missing a trade or losing money can negatively impact traders' performance and cause many lost opportunities or unnecessary losses. Likewise, the greed of wanting more profits from the market will cause a lapse of judgment when it comes to trade selection and risk management, causing massive losses. We aren't telling you to be emotionless while trading. That will never happen. You still will feel highs and lows and emotions. However, your execution should not change regardless of the emotions you're feeling. This is where the if that, then this approach comes in. Okay, so using the simple if that, then this approaches in trading. So, you know, the effects of emotions within trading can be numbed relatively well by adding a simple if that, then this approach to your trading. Think about your strategy and your risk management approach right now. Break these down step by step in an ordered sequence. So for example, this is just an example, this could look something like this. So if the daily time frame is above the 50 EMA, if the four hour time frame is above the 200 EMA, if the four hour time frame touches the 50 EMA, wait for the four hour candle to close. If the four hour candle closes between six and 4 p.m. Draw a long position. Put now your risks. So a 50 pip stop loss, 100 pip take profit. Calculate your lot size for an example of 0.5% risk. Enter your trade. So this again, note that, the, you know, do not use this as your strategy. This is just an example. But by breaking the strategy down, you have to go step by step through the process. And this ensures emotions and bias do not affect your decision making. You just need to hold yourself accountable to the above. And you will get the results you should from your trading strategy. Okay, so another important point is to abandon money, focus on outcomes. You know, a lot of newbie traders 
love to focus on money. And you know, it would make sense, right? I mean, we all got into trading the markets in the hope for a better life for ourselves and our families. So money is what we're all looking for. However, you cannot think in terms of money if you wish to be successful. I mean, money is a byproduct of consistently profitable trading over a period of many years. For example, when working in a corporate career, you don't think about each task in terms of monetary value. You don't look at an email in your inbox and think to yourself, oh, if I complete this task, I'll get $75. No, that would be ridiculous. Your job is to complete the task and you'll be paid as a byproduct of the tasks completed at the end of each month. Many traders, however, focus on earnings as much money as they can as quickly as possible often overlooking risk management and logic in most cases, in the hopes of a quick win. This always fails over long term. You must shift your focus and focus on the controllable. You can only control your trading executions, not the financial reward. You cannot predict the market or have an idea whether it will be moving with complete certainty. No one does. All you can do is control your behavior and your actions in the market. And if you do that correctly for many years, you'll amass a good amount of money. It sounds counterintuitive, but you need to apply this. This is even more important when looking at prop firm trading. For example, our funded traders have up to 10 million pounds in life capital under management. If they were thinking about money on every trade, this would be incredibly stressful to manage. So in conclusion, Learning to condition your mind to think with an internal focus of control is a crucial first step in trading. Being process driven, not outcome driven, is a key differentiator between profitable and unprofitable traders. To be successful over the long term in the markets, thinking as a robot is crucial. Break your trading down into if that, then this actionable steps to execute upon entirely removing human emotions and bias from the equation. That's gonna be all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe and like this video and I hope to see you all on the next one. Safe trading.